Okay, so we're doing an afternoon routine with my two male guinea pigs. This is an after school routine. So it's basically, it's not going to be very long, but you'll see what I do with my guinea pigs after school. Obviously, they're pretty hungry, so the first thing we're going to do is grab them some veggies. But first, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about something. So I'm not going to be showing my face on this channel. Um... But yeah, so basically you're not going to see much of my face, the parts that, um, like the back of my head, that's going to be fine, but like my actual face is not going to be shown. Um, but the gray one, that one's Percy, and then the back one there is Charlie, if you didn't see my first video. Um, so the first thing I'm actually going to do, because getting veggies would have, I have to go outside to do that. Um, I'm going to fill up their glass water bottle, um, because that one is pretty low. Okay, glass water bottle. It's just the KT one with his little duck. So, let me just... Go okay, so now we are actually in my bathroom, so I'm just going to fill this up. Room temperature water. Okay, their water bottle's filled. Um, so I'm just going to put that back in the hanger. The Lexit one was filled this morning, so it is not in the hanger again. That's supposed to be strange because they are very aggressive with their hunger. They very much love their hair. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is fill their hay bin right there. Because that needs a refill. So I just get my hay from Murdoch's and I use Timothy hay and I just store it in this trash can over here. I'm not going to add a lot, just topping it off. And as you can see, Percy comes out right away. Okay, so now. The last thing we're going to be doing is inside is I'm going to be sweeping their cage, or you can call it spot cleaning, but I just use a dustpan. This is our guinea pig one. It's obviously very gross. <laughs> and this little brush. So Charlie, my younger guinea pig, he is the brown and white one. Is a little bit more scared of me, so that's why he does this. So I'm basically just going to scoop up all the little poops just to pat off their cage. And I will be making a cage cleaning video for this CNC cage. So I basically just scoop up the loose hay and But I do not top off the pellets because they're already chunky, so they don't need to be chunkier. Of course, I wouldn't let them be skinny, but. And then they just have some toys in here. I use paper towel rolls and just like some safe pet store ones. Okay, so I might have changed my mind also. I might change, show my face a little bit in just like some spots, but I'm not going to be purposely showing it in the near future. Um, but yeah, so I'm just sweeping 
and uh, especially under their IVs. Because it doesn't really grow down to there because obviously they spend a lot of their time there. And of course, they have to help me out. Um, this is basically what they'll do when I try to clean. Charlie's getting a lot better, um, getting less skittish. I want to sweep the cage. Like, if I sweep it in the morning when I eat really man for breakfast, they, she, he will still eat his vegetables if I'm like sweeping around him. And we do compost all of this. It's very good fertilizer. Oh my gosh, Percy has like poop stuck to his paw. There, okay, buddy, you guys gotta move. Thank you, the little sweet stuff. They are very excited to see me at the end of the day. Because obviously they've just been alone in here. Um, they are in my room, so obviously like we have a dog and, some, and two cats. So I keep the door shut so that they're obviously safe. Um, but this is not helping, buddy. You're just making this take longer. Thank you. So I'm curious to see what you guys like want to see next. On Wednesday I'm probably going to be doing a cage cleaning vlog where I like do a deep clean of the cage. I do that almost two to three times a week just to keep the cage clean. But yeah, that one is probably going to be longer. I take around like an hour to clean and sweep everything up in their cage. Okay, now they're in here. I don't know if you can see this. You can't, but they're in this pink polka dot, the little tent. See, do you see that? I, Charlie would let me touch him. He was much more squished before because he was a rescue pig. So, I'll do a get to know videos too of the guinea pigs. And like where they're from and like how old they're estimated to be and such, but that's that. Okay, let me just, okay, let me just spread these toys back out. Percy's just getting in his play bin. So, I finished sweeping their cage, so now I'm going to take you along to go get them some veggies. We grow all of our, of our veggies in our garden for the piggies, at least in the summertime. So first thing I'm gonna give them, since yesterday they got um, some kale and bok choy. I'm gonna give them some micro clover. You grow this a lot and they love it, so it's a very good thing to give them. Okay, here's one of our cats. And then we're actually going to give them some grass from over here. This is the most fresh grass. We are not actually having a lot of grass growth right now. Um, we don't use like any chemicals in our yard because obviously we feed it to our piggies, to my piggies, so. And all and it's not dandelion, that's not poop, it's just dirt, I promise. Um, so that's, I think, what their meal is going to be. So let's go give it to them. Okay, so this is their meal. It's dandelion, mini clover, and some grass. So basically, I'll just put the basket in there and they'll go wild for it. Or Percy didn't even realize, but there goes Charlie. Percy? Buddy? There. 
that little sweet popcorn though. Okay, I'm just gonna let them eat and go throw out these poops. Okay, now they're just feasting, so. And that's probably going to be it for this video. Um, not much. Just tell me what you guys want to see next. And I uh, might be able to do it. Um, follow me on Instagram at um, Hey Potato um, to see more frequent updates there. I'm still getting that channel going. So, oh my gosh. So your support is very... Um, valued um but thanks for watching also a shout out to Francie babby i think that's how you pronounce her channel name she's been supporting me and she's like one of my best friends well she is my best friend so go take check out her channel bye